Occupied. Uh. Oh, come on. You can't stay in there forever. I most certainly can. I have a time machine. Here, this should work. Oh, that's nice and soft. Ha! Thank you. I can finally continue my journey. Here, take this. Huh? What's this? Your change. I didn't use it all. And now, off to new shores. Farewell, end times person. Hey, ho, stop! Oh, great. He's gone. If I didn't constantly imagine things like that, I would probably be really worried now. Holy junk! The flush isn't working right! There must be a leak somewhere in the pipes. Oh, that really is a bit rough. Wow, that even outdoes the pharmacy magazine of the blind drugstore owner. That was in braille. Who needs change when he's got magic fingers and an undeniable knack for vending machines of every sort? Ouch. Ah, oh, rats, the coin is too big. What good is small change if it isn't small enough? That really is a bit rough. Maybe. It worked! Now that's what I call the inflationary use of bathroom humor. Yeah, finally! All this money changing has made me really hungry. I think I'll let Bozo go first. The red modules are set to heat, but that's such a waste of energy. Let's see if I can turn them off. <laughs> Did it! Rufus 1, Entropy 0. What were they thinking? Putting a dumpster for fish guts right under the guest rooms, when there's a perfect balcony to throw stuff over. You can find the craziest stuff in the trash. Huh, a pelican. That's not crazy. Mildly odd, maybe. Let's see if it appreciates me spicing things up a little. Don't mention it. Too late. The pelican has eaten it. Eh, it's my own fault. Curse my culinary talent. Hmm. Some of my homemade salt mackerel is still floating in his expandable pouch thingy. <laughs> it looks yummy.
there. Time for a break, herring breath. <laughs> That's what you get, bird brain. Ugh. Slimy. Let's see if I can make something tasty out of it. Yeah, it consists entirely of fermenting gas. Now all that's left are the scales. Flaky dandruff in a bald man's hood. Ingenious. If there was such a thing as self-marriage, I would propose to myself. Could I bother you again? Yes, you seem to have a penchant for that. What are you doing again? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. I think you look just fine. Oh, you think so? Hmm. Maybe you're right. I... Oh, yuck! What is that? Oh, I have dandruff! This is a catastrophe! And I swapped all the hotel shampoo for cigarettes on the bright market! Don't just stand there! Do something! Shampoo? My salvation! Out with you! I have to shower! Ha <laughs> 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 The ghost is doing his haunting thing. I won't bother him now. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. Ooga, 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 Charlie. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. So nigh. Ooga, 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 Charlie. Ooga, 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 Charlie. Hey, I could really use a cork like this. And you be a good boy and stay in there, Mr. Toffee, okay? Mr. Toffee? <gasps> Where'd he go? Damsel in distress? What am I supposed to do? Look in the toilet bowl? You know, this is where I draw the... Oh, wait a minute. There really is something in the toilet bowl. That is a toilet freshener. Oh, man. Who'd throw something that cool into a toilet bowl? Never have enough pepper. <laughs> oh, don't panic. Oh, it all landed on the pie. Icing on the pie. It does cause a slight fever, but it's also good for your teeth. And here we have a very special treat for the taste buds. <laughs> Eat my dust, all you uninspired, risk-averse cooks. Oh, wait! It needs artificial coloring! 
food must please the eye. And that brings us to phase three of my ingenious plan. I call it poetic injustice. Could I bother you again? Yes, you seem to have a penchant for that. What are you doing again? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. I think you look just fine. Oh, you think so? Hmm. Maybe you're right. I... Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, my scalp itches. I have rice. Good thing I have this new miracle shampoo. And now, off with you. I have to shower. Arrival of the destroyer is nigh. Uga uga hu shali. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. So nigh. Uga uga hu shalali. Uga 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 shalala. Why won't he just get dressed? He's gonna catch the whooping box. And if he doesn't, I'll get them for him. Friends do things like that for each other. Hey, Bozo, you old pirate. Go ahead and say it. Huh? Nah, how can you be a pirate without the cutter? I was gonna say, you old liver spot repository. <laughs> you better get dressed. You don't want to shock Gold into another coma as soon as she wakes up, do you? Now, don't you think we should get dressed? I can't. My clothes are in the laundry. And if I bring them to you, will you finally cover up then? Why should I? You must be freezing. It is a bit drafty. I think the heater is on the blink. But, well, for a real pirate... You? A pirate? Who convinced you of that rubbish? Oh, it was you. Oh, <laughs> right. Ask a stupid question. I'm honored that you're trying to emulate me. But face the facts. You'll never be a go-getter like me. Come on, crawl into your soft and cuddly placenta fur coat and... Ah, forget it. Now I'm definitely gonna sit here in the cold. I don't even care if I catch the whooping pox. I need your towel. Okay. No, no, don't! You just don't know what you want. <laughs> New eyes! Ah, do whatever you want. Okay. Except that thing with your legs! Ugh, anything but that! <laughs> Cletus is here. He's moved into the room next door. He's probably looking for gold. Did he see you? See me? Yeah, you're talking to the Master of Disguise, the Human Cloak of Invisibility. Sneakity Sneaker, the sneak attack on the soft underbelly of injustice! Hey, keep it down in there! Well, uh, you know. Uh, Rufus, maybe it would be better if you stayed in the room for now. Rubbish! You want a, a plasma desma dimmy thingy? Well, I will get you a plasma desma thingy. But Rufus... Shh, you don't want Cletus to hear you, do you? Come on, please get dressed. Relieve me of the sight. I already told you, my clothes are in the laundry. And anyway, why should I? Uh, 
After all, there's a lady present. Goal? She seems rather absent to me. And as long as she is, why would you begrudge me a little leg room? <laughs> you have no idea how hard it is to find pants that fit in my size. All right. There's an absent lady present. But is that a reason to asphyxiate her? She's already blushing. Um, Rufus, I think you're standing on her breathing tube. Huh? I, whatever. This isn't about any stupid tubes. This is about, uh, um... Leg room? Exactly. Not that I have any less leg room. I'm thinking about Doc, too. Don't worry about my leg room, boy. Speaking of which, how come we never see your legs, Doc? Let's just leave it at that. Don't worry. Whatever. Ah, do whatever you want. Ugh. Sorry, I've gotta go. Don't take it personally. It's just your disgusting appearance. Ugh. My eyes are smarting already. Ugh. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now please get dressed. It is a bit drafty. I think the heater is on the blink, but, well, for a real pirate. You? A pirate? Who convinced you of that? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm on. But face the facts. Come on, crawl into your soft and cuddly placenta fur coat, and... Ah, forget it. Now I'm definitely gonna sit here in the cold. I don't even care if I catch the whooping pox. What have you got there? Something to eat. What else? A pie? Huh. That's really nice of you. Blah. This hotel slop isn't <coughs> very <coughs> tasty. On the contrary, I suddenly feel so... <coughs> How do I feel? Sick? Huh? I think I have a fever. Is my tongue blue? Uh, yeah, like Doc on Barbecue Thursday when there's no more beer. No argument from me. Oh, no. It's the whooping pox, and I'm cold, too. You were right. I need to get dressed as quickly as possible. Could you maybe find my clothes? Oh, the things you do for your friends. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now, please get dressed. Yeah. <laughs> Probably right. Thanks, Rufus. You really are a good friend. Told you so. Here's my towel. No, Rufus. I need the one-third screwdriver for the operation. And I need it to randomly combine with items. I said, hands off. All right, all right. She's unconscious again, but this time it's part of the plan. I'll save you, and then it's off to Elysium. <laughs>